This video is going to demonstrate the BidNinja Analytics user specific stats as opposed to the auction specific stats. Um, and this video is the same regardless of whether you're using Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox uh, because this part of the functionality of BidNinja is the same in either browser. Uh, so what you do is make sure you have BidNinja installed and then you're going to either browse to a Quibids auction, a Deal Dash auction, or a Bezit auction since BidNinja works with all three of those websites. Uh, you can either use the Forever Free Auction Tracker as demonstrated in another browser to get to one of these auctions or you can simply browse directly to the website and pick an auction and open it up right from the, the home page of the website. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and open up an auction. You'll see the BidNinja Analytics and the Auto Bidder appear. Um, I'm going to move the Auto Bidder out of the way since we'll demonstrate that in a different video. Uh, we'll go ahead and log into BidNinja using your login details. And that will bring up the BidNinja Analytics showing you all the information regarding the players and statistics for this auction. Um, you can view the other video that we have, the auction specific stats video, to view what these tabs and each of these columns are for. This video will demonstrate the user specific stats, which you can view by clicking on any user. So let's look at this user stats, for instance. You would click on the user, and you're going to see their, the bidder name. Uh, and let's see, you can see how long ago they placed a bid. One minute and 12 seconds ago. Uh, so they, they don't show up here yet, but let's say we wanted to look at the most recent bidder. You can see CP118. Here he is. So we'll go ahead and click on him and get some information about him. Uh, he has placed a total of 3,417 bids on Quibids since the time that he started playing on Quibids. He has won 44 auctions. Uh, he has played in 294 different auctions. His win rate, uh, how often he wins the auctions he plays in, is 14.95%, which is obviously the number of wins divided by the total auctions played and multiplied by 100. Um, the total bid spend, which is the total number of bids he's placed multiplied by the value of each of them, so he has spent just over $2,000 on Quibids, and his net gain loss is $708, so he's in the, in the, in the green by $708. This number is typically going to be actually lower than what it really is, because most people buy the item once they have bid up to the re retail value of it. So for instance, this auction is for a $50 gift card. If I place $50 in bids, even if I don't win the auction, I'll still go ahead and buy the item at face value. So I didn't actually lose anything. Uh, but unfortunately, when a user buys an item using the buy it now feature, uh, it doesn't count towards their net gain loss because we, d we can't see that they've purchased it. So this is more of a barometer that you're going to want to use to see how serious of a player is. Don't take this at exactly face value, although it's a very, very good indicator of uh, the level of competition you're going up against. Uh, and then lastly is the wins over $200, which I'll show you in a moment. Uh, the Live Auctions tab is going to show you all of the auctions a player is bidding on at, at the same time as so they're playing on this auction, this $50 gift card, and they're also playing for an Apple iPad. This is an excellent stat to use because you can see if a user or a player is overextending themselves by playing in maybe six, seven, eight auctions simultaneously. Uh, so let's, let's see if there's any other bidders that are doing that kind of thing, playing on lots of auctions at the same time. So you can see this player likes apparently likes gift cards. Um, to give you an idea of what we're looking at here, this is the total number of bids they have placed on the auction that it corresponds to. It shows you the time of their last bid and how many minutes ago or minutes and seconds ago their last bid on that auction was. And you can actually click on the click on the auction and it will bring you right to it. And again, you'll see the stats, and you can see this player is in fact playing on this auction. Uh, the total or the wins you're going to, you're going to be be able to view every auction that a, a user has won. Uh, this user has won 912 auctions, as you can see. Clicking on their wins tab brings all of them up, and you can see how many bids they've placed on each of those auctions, what it's sold for, uh, the retail price, the date that it ended, and the time, as well as what the product was. You can see this this player is a serious uh, gift card player. They really, really like to go after gift cards, which is a smart strategy because 
uh, if you end up having to buy it now, you're, you've not lost anything. You just end up getting the same return back on the gift card. So if you spend $50 in bids, you get a $50 gift card and you don't lose anything. Uh, losses, this is the same thing as the wins tab. We're going to be able to see every auction that this user has ever lost. Um, this is going to be an exceptionally large report given that this user has played in thousands of auctions. Uh, so they'll take a moment to load, but just to speed this video up a, a, a bit, we'll click on a less serious user. And we'll click on their losses. And 161 uh, losses. Uh, and, and again, it's the same way that the wins tab was. They're sorted by most recent to the furthest, or the, the longest to go, rather. And it's the auction title, the date and end time, how many bids the user placed, and so on. And then lastly, you can view their voucher stats. Let's go to a serious voucher bid user to get these, to demonstrate this tab. Uh, this is the number of voucher auctions they've played in and won. Uh, voucher auction refers to any voucher bid auction, whether it be a 25 voucher bid, 15 voucher bid, and so on and so forth. If it's any type of voucher bid auction, it counts as a voucher auction won if they've won it. Um, the number that they've lost, the total number of voucher bids they've won, and then the tracked number of voucher bids they have used. And this number is only added to when a player wins an auction because we can't track the voucher bids that a player has used unless they've won. Uh, once a user wins an auction, Quibids will display that information here, and we're able to track this number once Quibids publicizes it and add it to their tracked voucher bids. So this, again, is not always going to be a spot-on number. The others will be, but this one won't be. Um, but again, it's a very, very good indicator of how serious the competition you're going up against is. Uh, because if this is in the thousands the way that it is, that means they've not only won a lot of auctions for us to be able to track this number of voucher bids used, but it also means they've won so many voucher bids that they're able to have used this many. Uh, so if you see a serious number like this, you can typically anticipate going up against a player that is using a lot of voucher bids. So be wary of them.